encoders are used for control and feedback purposes across an extremely wide range of applications, including industrial, packaging, and medical. The primary way to classify encoders is by their output type, incremental or absolute, and when making a purchasing decision, it is important to understand the key differences between them. Incremental encoders determine relative position. Simple and inexpensive, these encoders are also limited as they only provide relative positional data. In the event of a planned or unplanned power outage, an incremental encoder must be recalibrated. Absolute encoders determine exact position. These encoders are more complex and can cost more. In the event, however, of a planned or unplanned power outage, an incremental encoder does not need to be recalibrated. After deciding on an incremental or absolute encoder, your next step is to pick a sensing technology. Though there are a lot of options on the market, choosing the right sensing technology does not have to be overwhelming. Let's take a look at two of the most common types, magnetic and optical sensors. When used in absolute encoders, magnetic sensors typically are smaller and lower cost than optical sensors and support closed loop functionality. When used in incremental encoders, magnetic sensors generally are smaller in size, are more accurate, and in some cases offer more robustness than optical sensors. Remember, when you understand the exact positional data needed for your application along with your operational needs, picking an encoder becomes a lot easier. For further information, don't forget to reach out to your qualified supplier.